RFK Jr., Trump's appointee for Surgeon General Casey Means, Senator Rand Paul, and others, have argued that it is crazy to vaccinate newborn babies for hepatitis B if their mother had a negative test for hepatitis B during pregnancy. And despite their very influential positions, I'm not sure if they know that we actually tried that in the United States. We tried vaccinating based on test results in the past, and it didn't really work. Can you walk us through what we previously tried, why it didn't work in the United States, and basically how we got to where we are today with a recommendation for universal vaccination of newborns for hep B? Well, for almost a 20-year period up through 1991, uh, we tried any number of different approaches to testing uh, people who we suspected having hepatitis B, i.e. pregnant individuals, and then trying to vaccinate those children. Uh, and it should be uh, noted to the, your listeners that the way that we're so concerned about transmission is largely when, uh, during the birthing process in particular, uh, a child will be exposed to the virus of the mom who may or may not know that she were infected. Um, and so uh, there was a gradual evolution of recommendations up through 1991 to try to get more and more women tested, have them followed up, and then have the child appropriately vaccinated. That just failed. We continued to see large numbers of cases occurring in this country. Uh, remember, at this point, about 18% of women today are still not tested for hepatitis B surface antigen or the test that tells us that they have hepatitis B, as well as the fact that um, then there's only a limited number of people who have actually have follow-up, even after they're tested, um, uh, without a long-term outcome uh, issue. And so what we really landed on was the way to do this is test all women, yes, but most importantly, vaccinate all kids. And that's where we saw this dramatic drop. Uh, and since 1991, we estimate that we've actually prevented over 6 million uh, infections and over a million hospitalizations because of this new approach. Now, one could argue that, well, you know, that seems like you're asking people who aren't at risk to do something. But in fact, again, unlike uh, some countries that have a comprehensive healthcare system, these people fall through the cracks. And they have fallen through the cracks. And so now what we're doing is basically taking an approach where we have a very safe and a very effective vaccine. No one has challenged the safety or the effectiveness of these vaccines. And we're now covering uh, those populations that would have been missed in the past. And this has had a huge impact on the public health issues uh, related to hepatitis B. 